Chef Billy from Route 66 Smokehouse, and he's gonna tell us some chef. Tell me a little. Um, I start, always loved smoking meats, mm -hmm. and always loved the idea of curing and smoking and doing things mm -hmm. large, primal cuts of meat. And um, being from New York, you didn't get that much of an opportunity to do that. Right. But <laughs> then I started working at Blue Smoke and got a lot of opportunity to do it, and spent three years there as a sous chef. And when Ronan was ready to open this project, somehow one of his partners found me and I found him and we collaborated and got this place up and running. Wonderful. In a little bit you'll be able to see how just exactly how long Chef Billy cooks his meats and whatnot for. But I mean when I came in here it was the ribs were falling off the bone the second you looked at them. It was absolutely beautiful. So now we know a little bit more about Chef Billy. Hopefully you'll be able to take us down to the kitchen and show us what really kinda of goes into the heart and soul of Route Route 66 Smokehouse. So hopefully you'll join us. Come on. Ready? All right. with paso ham. Just to give the oil like get that Cajun seasoning off the top of the the oil. So we do put the shrimp in. It's got the flavor over there. Turn that up a little bit. Just for a minute. We don't want to cook them all the way. We're just going to cook them partially. And then we're going to take them out and we're going to put all the rest of the ingredients in, which is the mushrooms and the garlic and the stuff. And then we'll put the shrimp back in at the end. So this way, the mushrooms will get the flavor of the shrimp and the tasso from the oil. And then we can finish going that one we're the shrimp. So it's okay. It's easy and effective. So we're going to turn out the mushrooms. Mini mushrooms. They get color on them, we're gonna get nice, like, caramelized, colored, nutty, that's what bring out the nutty flavor of the mushrooms. As soon as that happens, we'll add the rest of the garlic. Chilies. Multiply that in, that becomes the sauce. Creamy and yeah. Oh my goodness, last a lot of, time for yeah, it's just a lot of butter in there makes it better and richer, more delicious. All that loveliness right on there. And that is our shrimp and grits. We have people here 24 hours a day smoking, pulling meat, wow. doing everything we gotta do to make sure that we always have our barbecue ready to go. No, that's great. A uh, spice blend that we make in-house is salt, pepper, sugar, cayenne, lots of chili powders, and a bunch of other stuff. That, some secret ingredients. Some secret ingredients. Lots have, of love there. You have to taste when you come here. Exactly. <laughs> and we just really, really coat this. This is a big piece of meat. Like, it's going to be hard to penetrate the inside, so you have to really get a lot of it on the outside in order to let the, so when we chop it later, pull the pork, get that outside, that outer coating will incorporate in with the inner. I must say, this was definitely different than any other barbecue that I've had. So this is why this is one of my top places in New York City to get barbecue. Thank you, Chef, for showing us that. My pleasure. I'll just roll.